Hello, my name's Harry from Purple Gem. Um, today I thought I'd do a quick video talking about our upcoming game, Sounds of Eden. Uh, it's actually been in development for about six months. I think the first vlog we did on it was January time. Um, but it's gone through quite a few changes since then. And I thought I'd just do a little little run through, tell you sort of the design ethos behind the game. Um, so initially, the, the premise was that imagine you're a gardener and you're creating a garden by planting plants, but each of those plants are represented by sounds. And the, the type of plant you choose um, determines how harmonious they are with one another and how sort of musically harmonious the garden is. And the more harmonious it is, the faster your plants will grow. Um, yeah, and that sort of thing. And over time, the, the sounds sort of develop, representing the, the growth of the garden generally. And then insects and birds are attracted to it, as they would be in a regular ecosystem. And they're also represented by different sounds. Um, so it was this sort of 3D soundscape creator uh, with the overarching metaphor or extended metaphor of a garden. Um, now, since since then, the, the concept of the plants and the animals um, has definitely remained. Uh, but, but what's changed primarily is the, the strategic element ha has been removed to an extent because the, the whole emotion we're trying to evoke here is a, is a sense of calmness, a sense of peace, um, a sense of wandering through this space um, that all sounds very lovely, but but it, it wasn't meant to be sort of a min-max situation. You know, you're not trying to score the most points necessarily. You're just trying to create a space in which you can find your peace um, and chill out, maybe at the end of a stressful day or after work or in the morning when you first wake up. Uh, and, so, and so because of that, we decided to, to remove um, some of the strategic um, or more points-based elements and rather than having say a grid system as we had at one point wherein you could plant plants in specific spaces and couldn't plant them on top of each other and you had to go around removing weeds and things instead we created a procedural system wherein you can walk endlessly um, and new parts of the the garden of Eden if you want uh, will, will generate as you move through the space and, and every time you play as is the nature of procedural generation, it, it will be different um, to a certain extent. And and so now the, the premise is you just, you wonder until you find a, a combination of, of plants that, that really appeals to you um, or a soundscape that really appeals to you. And then you can just sit and listen to it develop over time. Um, and there's a, there's a lot going on under the hood that, that does make uh, the plants develop over time as well as some more obvious things like the arpeggiated notes increasing as the plants grow um, right so with that being said I'll, I'm going to be quiet for a minute and just do two minutes of gameplay to give you an example of what you might hear but as I say this will be different at each load hello and welcome to sound of Eden press space to enter the garden and use the arrow keys to move. When you've found your piece, press escape to exit. Okay, so I'm gonna press space now and enter the garden. OK, 
Okay. So this space I've found now, um, I really like actually because you you found uh, that th there's a stream to the right, which is a little bit of white noise, which makes it very soothing. Um, I'm quite close to some plants, so you get a sense of their development, um, but not so close as for them to sort of be very forward and resonant. Um, and you can hear uh, a Zen garden raker to the to the, the sort of behind and right of me. And so if I were to stay here, you would hear these plants gradually develop, as you already have a little bit. Or, if I decide that I want to find a new space, I can just walk on. Alright, and you can hear, here there's a certain sort of dark sounding tombra to the left of me. Um, in essence, that's the concept of a, of a weed causing disharmony in the garden. And so some people might find that interesting because it creates a more, a more complex harmonic environment. Um, but if you don't like it, you can just choose to wander away and more of the garden will generate. So now you can tell I'm a lot closer to a few different types of plants, um, which which makes the, the soundscape a lot more forward, um, a, a lot more present, um, and you can more clearly hear the defined arpeggiated notes as they're going down. Um, occasionally you might hear um, bees and birds represented by sounds uh, moving around. They actually use a procedural melody generator so as with everything else um, they develop and, and change over time and each playthrough in that sense is unique okay so I'm going to leave the playthrough there. Um, the, the game will be about two pounds, available on via our website and on the iOS store and the Google Play Store. Um, and yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. It's been quite a, quite a lengthy project. Um, lots of time spent refining the sounds and making sure it's not too chaotic, um, making sure there's enough variety. Uh, but but I'm really really proud of the result and yeah, I hope you enjoy it.